your doctor is in and we're going crazy with more recording tests to kick off the year. Um, I'm really trying to dial in my guitar recording setup so then I can hopefully just start making music soon. But today we're shooting out preamps. And even before this shootout, I did more comparisons. I compared my interface, the Arturia Audio Fuse Studio, which I love by the way, um, those built-in pre's with the Heritage HA73 clone and the Don Classics 1073 clone. And the Don Classics killed the other two. And today we're just narrowing it down between the Don Classics and the AMS 1073 LB. So the Don Classics clone is one that maybe not a lot of people have heard of. Uh, they specialize in kits that you can hand build. And massive thanks to my drummer slash engineer who built this preamp and let me borrow it. This particular one um, has the 1073 preamp and the EQ module uh, all together, but I defeated, I bypassed the EQ, so we're only hearing the sound of the preamp. And I'm comparing that with the AMS 1073 LB, which uh, costs about twice as much, but they both are well-respected, solid clones of the Neve 1073 and I'm stoked to see which one gets me closer to my ideal guitar tone and hopefully with this comparison it could help you if you're trying to choose between different 1073 preamps. So it's a pretty simple miking setup. It's a single Shure SM57 on a Celestian Vintage 30 in my Bogner Uber cab. The full signal chain is described in the description below. So if you want to nerd out on that, you can check that out. This is a blind test. You're only going to see preamp A versus preamp B. Put in the comments which one you prefer as you're listening. And after the clips, I'll reveal which is which. But hey, let's listen to it and then um, I'll share more of my opinions. So let's check it out. I hope you made your choice. Did you put it in the comments? I'll give you a few seconds. Okay, preamp A is the Don Classics 1073 and preamp B is the AMS 1073 LB module. So I had to play with these both. I mean, they both sounded good to me right away. And I had to mess around with different input gain settings to figure out what really sounded best for both. And once I optimized both, then I started really leaning more towards the AMS 1073. That's my preference right now. Especially with the reamp signal and this controlled sort of setting, the difference is small. Um, the way I would describe it is the AMS is a little more open sounding, maybe a little more clarity in the high end. Um, and a little more transparent, while the Don Classics has a little bit more of that classic Neve color that I would think of, where there's some extra sort of low, mid saturation happening, um, harmonic content that sounds really cool if you're going for that. One thing I learned while doing this is that when I was actually playing through the different preamps, it was instantly clear which one I preferred. And it was crazy, like the response to my playing really felt different. And it's always hard to communicate the feel of pieces of gear in um, like audio clips. And you don't get that when you're reamping as well. So I would recommend if you're playing an instrument or singing or whatever, 
um, and you're shooting out some recording gear, actually perform live with it and see how it feels because um, there's something about that that can make it easier to choose to, to hear um, minute differences and really dial in the correct setup for what you're going for. All right, so I've nailed down my pre. Coming up next, we're gonna do an IR shootout or impulse responses that I've made based off of my best uh, mic placement and preamp settings. And um, eventually I'll share those with you all. And also I'm gonna shoot out uh, reamp boxes. I have a fancy one coming in soon that I'm really stoked to try. And then after all these tests, we'll finally get to making some music and I'll do some demos and show you like what these tones can do for you. These tones might sound a little extra bright to you in solo especially, um, but the tone I'm dialing in is really uh, optimized for, uh, for double tracking guitars. And when you double track, you lose a little bit of that high end. So I find that this tone, this sort of tone works well in a mix, um, but it might sound a little intense in solo. We'll get to mixes later. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this shootout. Uh, if you liked anything about this video, give it a like. And if you want to see me continue to go crazy with my recording gear, subscribe. Pretty soon we'll be making music again. Please. <laughs> All right, see you next time.